Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the products that I have been using pretty much all summer. I know I haven't been keeping up with monthly favorites, but part of that is just because I've been a creature of habit. Other part of that is I haven't tried that many new products and sometimes it feels just redundant to keep sharing the same old products with y'all. So uh, I decided to do this end of summer favorites so that you guys can just see what I keep turning back to. So if you're interested in seeing what I got the most use out of this summer, then just keep watching. Okay, so first up, we're going to talk about foundation. And it is the foundation I'm wearing today. And it is by Beauty Bakery. This has been the foundation that I keep turning back to over and over again all summer long. Um, I know I've talked about this probably about three or four times, so I don't want to run it in the ground. I'm not going to give you a full review, but I will link my review of it up here. Um, but the shade that I'm wearing all over my face is shade 27 and then the shade that I'm wearing on the outer portion is shade number 23 and I like this foundation because it can be like an everyday foundation or it can look glam. I think that um, you really can kind of control your coverage with it um, and to me it, it really holds up well which is one thing that I really love about it. I also like that it gives me some decent coverage without looking mask like or looking too dry or anything like that. So yeah, also like the price point. I think these are about $28. And if you saw my um, review video on it, you know I ordered one shade and they sent me another shade too. So they sent me two shades and I think they were doing that for everybody. I'm not sure if they still are, but it's because they say they want you to get your perfect match. So I'm really happy they did that because the dark shade they sent me is like perfect for bronzer for me. So. Next up is the eyeshadow palette I've been using for most of the summer and I have to say I have not been wearing a lot of eyeshadow so um, when you see this palette you may say that doesn't even look like it's been used that much but honestly every time that I have been wearing eyeshadow like to go out at night or something I keep turning to this palette and this is the Anastasia soft glam palette I was a little bit late on the bandwagon getting this but I honestly really really like it the reason I held off on it is because I was like, I don't need these shades. But honestly, they're just something a little bit special about them. The shimmery shades are, they can be like very shimmery or you can use it like I'm using it today. So today I'm just using um, glistening on my lid and just a little bit of fairy in my inner corner. And I just patted them on very lightly so that I can get a like daytime appropriate look but I've definitely used both of those shades for nighttime looks and I think that they really give a pop to the eye the shimmers are like amazing and of course the the mattes are as well now this palette is a bit powdery and all um, so I do feel like I have to kind of take my time when I'm using it I can't rush and use it because it'll get everywhere but other than that definitely recommend this palette if you're looking for something that can easily be worn at night and you can still like lightly use it for daytime. So for highlighter, um, the palette that I keep using is this MAC Hyper Real Glow Palette, which is a surprise to probably all of us. Uh, I did mention this in a favorites video before, but I kind of like MAC is not really a brand that I use a lot of anymore. So when this palette came out, I knew I wanted it, but I really didn't have that high of an expectation for it but I keep turning back to it just because it's so easy I like having the three shades in one I like that all the shades look nice on my skin tone they don't look glittery they look like wet I'm not wearing it today because I honestly have this upstairs in my bathroom like with my daytime makeup well not daytime makeup but I do my makeup in my bathroom a lot when I'm rushing so it was up there and I actually did my makeup in my beauty room today, so I'm wearing a different highlighter, but I have been using this all summer long. The next thing I want to mention is actually a technique, and it's probably just spawned out of just having to deal with getting two kids ready and getting out of the house in time and not working as much as I used to. But I've just been doing a lot of days where I just do concealer, brows, mascara, that's it. And a lot of times I don't even set the concealer. So it's more like a technique that I want to share with y'all that I've been doing all summer. Not really products per se because I do use two different types of con two different concealers to do that. So really just whatever concealer works for you. But just it's been kind of refreshing to not have stuff on my face um, and just be able to do a little concealer. Not a lot, just a little because you don't want it to look like raccoon under there. Just a little bit of skin tone concealer, brows, and I mascara and it makes me feel pulled together without spending pretty much any time on it so 
So as far as lips this summer, I have been pretty much just a gloss girl. Um, pretty much every summer really. <laughs> but the two lip glosses I've been wearing all summer long are the one I have on today, which is by Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Skin Deep. And I just like it because it's a nude. <laughs> so really easy to wear, it's comfortable. It's relatively long lasting for a gloss and I just, I like the way these glosses feel and everything. I like the Marc Jacobs gloss. I have, I think one or two other ones. No, just one other one. And it's a darker brown. Um, and I really like that one too, but I feel like I have to lighten that one up in the center because it can look a little bit too dark uh, sometimes. But this is the one I've been using pretty much all summer long along with this gloss and this one this next gloss i'm going to show you i've used probably more than the marc jacobs one and this is a gloss by chanel this is my first chanel gloss it's in the shade number 804 which is called rose naif i'm sure i'm pronouncing that wrong but i will leave it down for you below but this gloss is very sheer but it does give a nice bit of pink to the lips um, so I really like this. I've actually been wearing it pretty much every day. Like I've really been going back and forth between these two, but I definitely wear this one a lot more. I actually take it to work with me like it's in my work bag or I keep it in my car because I just like to wear it that much. So even if I start out with another lipstick or something earlier in the day, I'm usually switching to this by... <laughs> by the end of the day so yeah i did want to include those two items and then the last like beauty thing i wanted to share is gel manicures which this is the shade i'm wearing today on my nails and this was a rush job but it still turned out pretty good um but this is by gel or elite 99 the color is 006 i think it's either 006 or 900 um i'll list it down below like i always do i ordered this off amazon so i'll link it um down below but i've just been loving doing gel manicures it's not just a specific one it's just doing my own gel manicures at home has saved me a lot of money and i found it to be like a relaxing self-care thing that i had kind of gotten away from i enjoy doing my nails so i had kind of gotten away from it because they chip like next day on me uh, but now that I'm able to do gel at home, I can switch it up like every week or every week and a half. And yeah, it's not really costing me any extra money. So that was probably my biggest beauty <laughs> favorite of the summer. So next up, we're going to talk a little bit about um, fashion or um, yeah, I guess we'll call it fashion. <laughs> I don't consider myself that fashionable, so I don't really ever call anything fashion, but I guess that's what category this stuff falls into. So first, let's talk about the bags I've been using this summer. And I have to say, this summer has been a summer of handbags for me. Like, now that my kids are getting a bit older, I can carry my bags more, and I've been looking at them more, and just, you know, this has been a summer of handbags for me. But it was hard for me to kind of show you guys what I've been using all summer because I have been switching up a lot. But these are the bags that I keep turning to. So first up is this one. And this is by Longchamp. This is their backpack. So I don't remember the name of this color, but like I said, I will leave it um, in the description box below. But I basically use this as a baby bag. So in here I have like diapers and a couple snacks and wipes hand sanitizer that kind of stuff and i like this because it's very lightweight and it's waterproof and i don't have to be like careful with it and if it gets dirty because of the light color like it's a little dirty right here right now um i just can wipe it off i've wiped it off with either just like a wet wipe and i've also wiped it off with uh like actually put it in the sink and washed it like with soap and water and it's just this bag is just so carefree i throw it everywhere in florida it rains pretty much all summer long so i like having something like this that's waterproof um i got caught in like a torrential downpour one time <laughs> like i'm not even joking it was ridiculous it was so bad to the point that like my whole body was soaked um but this everything inside the bag was completely dry so <laughs> That makes this a favorite. Um, so I usually will just carry this when I'm with my kids. Um, if we're going to the park or anywhere, really, grocery store, whatever. If I need 
some stuff of theirs with me then i'm usually bringing this bag unless it's like something where i'm gonna need like a ton of stuff with me so that's that and then also i forgot to mention sometimes i will carry this along with a like small purse or sometimes i'll just put my stuff in here it just kind of depends on what i'm planning on doing the next bag that i've used a ton of this summer is not very summer looking but it has been like the most carry bag all summer <laughs> this is my neo no way and i did do an unboxing of this and y'all know i ordered this chain from i think the company's name is motto or motto but i'll leave it down below as well um but i just i've been using this bag all summer because it's so easy it's so carefree i don't really have to worry about it or baby it i can fit a good amount of stuff in here Sometimes if I'm just going out for a quick run and I have the kids with me, I'll put like a diaper and wipes in here, like one of each. And then I'll put my stuff in here and this is good to go. It's perfect. So, and it's easy to carry because I can carry it, carry it by the shoulder strap or I can carry it like this. Um, I can carry it crossbody too, but honestly, I really don't ever do that. I mainly just carry it by the shoulder strap. So... Yeah, I really, really like this bag. I'm so happy I purchased it. I've used it a bulk of the summer. Um, pretty much until I got this next bag that I'm going to show y'all. But this has definitely been like the most used bag of the summer. So the last bag I'm going to show you is the honorable mention that I was talking about. And the reason it's honorable mention is because honestly I have not had it that long. So I can't really say it's a summer favorite. But it is something that I've carried every day that i've carried a handbag since i got it so i have to mention it it is the shivanshi antagona and it's silver and i really wanted to mention this bag because i feel like it's just so summer appropriate um it's like a metallic silver it really doesn't show up well on camera but in person i just think it's absolutely beautiful and i've been surprised how much i keep turning to this bag because it is a handheld bag um but honestly i've been wearing it every day that i wear like a handbag since i got it um so i think that speaks volumes and i just feel like it's so summer appropriate especially with this bandeau on here like this bandeau is by louis vuitton so i am mixing um brands here but i just think that it absolutely just sets it off for me and of course you can carry this bag by the handle too i mean the strap too so I do that um, when I need to be hands free. So the next item I have is also like bag related, but it's not a bag, but it is this Gucci Blooms wallet. And I'm not sure, I heard that they were discontinuing these. So I'm not sure if they are still available, but if they are, I just feel like this was a really good buy. Uh, luxury wallets are expensive, but as far as luxury goes, this was like, a cheaper wallet it's, I think it's around $300 and I just really love the print and not only the print I just love the functionality of it I use this like as a full-size wallet I have all my cards in here including gift cards and a couple like um, like store cards that I keep I don't keep a lot of like store cards but um, some of them I do keep in my wallet it's my v Sephora card but yeah this it's just served me well all summer and it actually inspired me to get some other zippy type wallets like this. So, but this is the one that I've been using a lot this summer. I think this print is just so fun. I'll probably put it away once fall comes around. Uh, Cause I think it would be fun to save it for spring and summer. Um, but this has definitely been a favorite of mine all summer. And then last up as far as fashion goes is a pair of shoes. And they are actually these Target slides. And mine look pretty busted now. Like. <laughs> I told y'all in another video that I had broke off one of my pearls and I glued it back on but then I lost it again so oh well. I did decided not to buy anymore just because it's like almost done. We're almost done with summer and I'm not sure that these will carry over until next year. So I've really gotten my use out of these. I actually saw these on clearance the other day at Target. I think they're like $16 now. I think when I got them they were about $25 or something like that. but. I have used these so much. I just feel like they, they're they so like casual while still being a little special. So I'll throw them on with like leggings and a t-shirt or whatever. 
um, I throw them on to go to the grocery store, the doctor, like every, everywhere. These have been my definitely my most worn shoes this summer. Glad I picked them up. And even though I've replaced like quite a few of my little like sandal slides this summer, these are the ones that I've worn the most out of. So, okay. And then the last two items are kind of just more like random things. So first up is this. This is a LaCroix sparkling water. <laughs> So y'all know I've been on this diet, so I don't really drink any sodas or anything like that. And sometimes you get tired of drinking water. And so I switched to um, sparkling water and I never used to like sparkling water before, honestly, um, before I started this weight loss journey, um, just because I felt like it didn't have enough taste. But now I feel like the taste, the flavors really come through. So I do like the LaCroix La brand. I also like the Bubbly brand. So I guess the favorite is more of a sparkling water. <laughs> um, but this is the one I had in my house right now. I think my favorite actually is LaCroix and they have a coconut flavor that tastes really good to me. So I definitely would suggest these. These are, like I said, they're just sparkling waters infused with like natural flavors. So they don't have any sugar and calories, nothing like that in them. They're not super strong tasting because like I said, they're just infused, but they do taste really good and refreshing. And then the last item is a candle. And I usually don't get a whole lot of use out of candles during the summer, but this one I have burned nonstop. This is by DW Home and the scent is Radiant Lime and it literally smells like margaritas lime margaritas it smells so good i wish y'all could smell it um but as you see i've burned it down to like here this is a really big candle um it says it's 56 hours burn time i don't know about that but i feel like i burn this a ton i burn it almost every day um and generally i burn it during the daytime at night i like to burn a little bit more warm scents but during the day i think this is perfect it makes my house smell good the scent um it can, it can fill up my downstairs area and i found this is the second dw home candle that i tried one that i tried before i feel like the scent didn't really go very far um, so i didn't have super high expectations for this one but i've been pleasantly surprised and i probably need to go pick up another one just in case it's limited edition that way I can have it for like next summer <laughs> so that is all for my end of the summer favorites I am planning on doing like an August favorites or a variation on that um, and I do want to get back into doing those because I enjoy filming those type videos I have a different way in mind that I'm going to do them so that I think that I think that will allow me to be able to do them every month so just a heads up it may not be all beauty it may be all beauty just depending on what I'm trying for that month. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. I hope to be able to film that in the next couple of days and get it posted for you next week or so. <laughs> but anyway, uh, if you have a favorite product that you've used this summer, make sure you leave it down below. If you've tried any of the items or used anything that I have in this video, make sure you let me know what you thought of it down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.